Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Whale Nerds Podcast. This is episode number 17. I have Eric and Caitlin here with me. Hey, everyone. Hello. And we have a special guest today, a real special one. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Adam Ernster. What's up, guys? He's our number one Whale Nerds fan. <laughs> that may I, I'm pretty may sure he's the only true. person that's listened to all 16 episodes. I think no it's just way. him. People yeah. must listen to all of them. At least no one's told us that they've listened to everyone and asked us when the next one's coming out. All those, all, <laughs> all right. all those downloads all right. are from him. No one Not got really mad right. at us going down to one day a week except for Adam. Dude, what am I going to do on my Thursday nights instead of listening to the podcast? <laughs> Watch a TV show, Just bro. Like, like, go to school, like, like do homework. Nah. All those downloads are from you, right? You downloaded every device yeah, you like, have. Yeah, like He's like, I need to hear on Spotify on um, <laughs> my laptop. All right, so the reason we're having Adam on uh, the podcast is He's not only a marine life photographer, but he also works on a whale watching boat in Santa Barbara. You just started working there, right? Yeah, so I started working there late January. So it's the Condor Express in Santa Barbara. I think of it as the only like legitimate boat in Santa Barbara that'll take you out whale watching. Obviously, there's Island Packers down in Ventura, which is pretty close to us. Oh, he's claiming. Um, he's claiming it. I'm claiming wow. It. But like, uh, yeah, so we have a big old boat. can fit 127 people. Got a grill on board so you can eat. Uh, and right now we're doing... <laughs> I ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on that boat. Did you? Off the grill. Off the grill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it fried? She might have toasted it. I don't know. Mm, <laughs> yeah, that's dude, yummy. That was probably Jill. Jill's the homie. Has she been there a long time? This yeah. Probably she's like been four there years like, ago. She's probably been there for like eight years. Um, yeah. Condor Express has some history too. That's the... That's technically you're on the second Condor. Yeah. So the, original was the original so Condor. So if you're in the sport fishing industry, uh, some of you might know that old boat. Yeah. So right. Adam is not he didn't really get on the podcast because he is a marine photographer or anything. It's because today he told us that he's had this a is the record he breaking. Cla- he claims. He's claiming that he <laughs> has as the best one week worth of whale sightings and uh we want you guys we want him to share with you one week all in one week. Maybe two Bro, weeks it has to be maybe. Up there. It was all in one week. No, it was like it though. He really did. I mean, yeah. and they're you all first about it, for him. You talked too. about it last, yeah, last podcast just a little bit. What you saw, like what we saw, yeah, or what? Well, I saw because about. some of it. All right, hit him with first thing you saw. Yeah. Okay. okay. So go in chronological order. Let's see. <laughs> I came up here. What's the date and the time? No, I'm kidding. No, I need the date. What, <laughs> what, what was I the position like of the sun when you spotted it? <laughs> no, so the it first thing you saw noon. was with us, right? It was with you. It was the northern right whale dolphins? That was the first time I ever saw them. Um, How was it? Crazy because. You know, seeing them is one thing. I mean, like they're like they like like little weird alien little things. How long did you cry for? <laughs> they're not alien. Just about looking. forty minutes. Like forty minutes. Okay. They're totally alien looking. <laughs> they look like they're from another planet. No, they don't. But they like, look like sea lions. But like seeing yeah. one of them would be cool. But like seeing a thousand is like totally different. And it was your first yeah, time you seeing them, right? First yeah, time there, there was like yeah, them. like three hundred. How many great fo- fun. how many no great way, photos did you get of them on your first time? That's a stab at Slater. He he. It took him a while to get it. What he thought was oh, a good photo. Oh, yeah, whatever. It took so you a long much. time, too, Eric. It takes everybody a lot of time to get I know, it does. Plus, they, they, we see them like once every like three months. But Slater was getting pretty mad at those. those. Well, and so, because they were by themselves, and it was a huge pod. That was on like a Friday, right? And they stampeded. Yeah, that was a Friday. And then, um, was it the afternoon trip, or was it the next day? What so, did you see? Well, Saturday, we saw just lunch feeding humpbacks. Yes. And, then, and then Sunday. Just lunch, sorry, and then <laughs> wow, I know already what, spoiled. I know it was Sunday <laughs> because I was sitting in the airport. And the funny oh, thing yeah. is, is I was supposed to spend Friday here, Saturday here, and I was supposed to go back Saturday night to work in the Condor, but I didn't. Wow, so I he's already getting fired. I called my captain. I was like, <laughs> hey, I'm going to stay an extra day. He's like, that's fine. Um, yeah, they're really chill. It right paid right. off. Um, so it really paid off as we saw and what L-Pod, did you see? L-Pod, the Southern Resident Killer Whales. Um, and I've I've seen J Pod before. In 2016, I saw Granny right before she passed away. I think but where one, did you see them at? Monterey. You saw them in L-Pod. Monterey. No, 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 Monterey. Not J-Pod. Oh, J Pod. Yeah, you L-Pod. saw the J Pod in San Juan Islands. J Pod was in San Juan. Islands. So you saw Southern Resident Killer Whales in Monterey. Yeah, which okay. is how and many miles was it? About a thousand fifteen. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say more yeah. than a thousand miles. Over a thousand miles away. Because from which here we covered to... all this. I mean, yeah. Well, because Eric and I saw them. Because from here to Oregon, Washington border is like 900 miles. Also, I got to clear something up. On that podcast, you said <laughs> you were sitting in the galley. JJ turned the boat, and you just like stood up and like just went to the went to the uh, the wheelhouse. The wheelhouse. But in reality, 
we both looked at each other, went, no way. And then you yeah, laughed. Okay, well, either <laughs> I was, way, I got I mean, up I, and I was like, what is it? And then I well, we were both like, we were both like, no, like, what? And then no I way was like, okay, I, I knew what was going on because as soon as I got in the wheelhouse, I could hear the radio. But then I walked back out to the yeah, galley and what did I tell you? We you saw. were like, doll's porpoise. <laughs> and then Eric, Eric went along with it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And, and then it's I saw it work like that. And then I saw a <laughs> We told you they were black and white, which dolls and porpoise doll, yeah, dolls and porpoise are black and white. Not, yep. Exactly. That's not wrong. And we said they go fast and both can go fast. Yeah. And then I saw I saw a breach in the distance and I was like, come on. I was like, come on. <laughs> that was that the is, biggest dolls like, porpoise we yeah, ever seen. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. So Adam got so far so this is day two. So basically he saw Northern right whale dolphins, and then he saw the southern resident killer whales, which he, we talked about how rare yeah. that was on, on crazy past crazy podcast. experience. Um, then what? And then I went back to Santa Barbara, um, and I saw the rarest transients on the planet. They're not the rarest on the planet. <laughs> He's calling the rarest the transients. CA one twenty two are call, not the rarest. I know, but um, <laughs> I think they're that's t- that's a rare pod. Out they're of less the pods, common. Let's call it. And that. for Santa Barbara, for Santa Barbara, similar. like we see. <laughs> Killer whales there maybe like once or twice a year. Yeah. Except lately. I feel like you guys have been starting to see. We've been seeing them a lot, more. See, We've them a lot like more. A lot. Yeah, they do get some really good Santa Barbara's like a mini Monterey. Well, it's with cool. A lot of it's, missing Santa Barbara's cool mammals. because you get stuff coming up from the south <laughs> and also stuff from like the north. Yeah. Because they sometimes get, we get dolls, porpoise there. We get northern right whale dolphins there. Um, and so we also get like false killer whales. Yeah. Common dolphins. Common the, dolphins. The like funny thing is that when you re- read field guides, the cutoff. Uh, for There's animals is usually line. yeah, but by Santa Barbara Point Conception, point yeah, I always say South right. Point Conception or North line. of Point Conception, yeah. So it's really honestly a cool area. So but yeah. yeah, so you saw the killer whales, and then what did you see? So so we saw the CA one twenty two transients, and one thing about that is that you know we talked to Elisa, the orca researcher here, and she said, you know, CA one twenty two herself was not there, was not there, um, and uh, at least not based on your photos. At least not based on the, fo- on the photos, and there were six killer whales there. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so, you know, we don't really know where she was, if something happened to her, or if she just peaced out for a bit. And then she also said that there's two new calves. That's or awesome. calves that haven't How been. How many whales total was it? There was six whales. Awesome. How big were the calves? They look like... Were they still were orange? Were any of them orange? He was, he was a little bit orange. He had an orange tinge to him, the littlest one. But she said, I think... The older calf she had seen before, but then the young calf that nobody had seen before. Interesting. So she's going to, I don't know, look at her catalogs and stuff. But I'm kind of predicting that there's a lot of toddlers right now because 2016 was such a big year uh-huh. for feeding. And there was a lot of whales around, so there's a lot of mating happening. Yeah. So 18 months after that, there was a lot <clears> of births. And then hmm. now we've got a lot of toddler whales. Yeah, it's pretty cool to see such a rare pod. And then once again, it's like, where did they go? Yeah, once exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, uh, uh, that pod is supposed to be two females and then two juveniles did she tell you where the last time they were seen no hmm. it's been I, we know. did see them during the big year in 2016 for sure we may have seen them after that but we cool. definitely saw them just a few years ago yeah we need to go up to santa barbara hopefully they're still there when i and yeah, so when get there it's kind of cool that like you know we, we have like the 51s everybody knows their names we have emma's pod and whatever you but guys like, have seen Emma's pod in Santa Barbara? I think Jagged's yeah. group's been sighted there um, pretty often, too. The 216s. But, like, the 122s, they don't have names. They don't have, really, ID numbers. Like, only 122 has an ID number. Her daughter, which I saw, doesn't have an ID number. doesn't have a name. And then, obviously, Because the they were born after the either. catalog was made. Is that why? Mm-hmm. The catalog was made in, like, 1994, right? 97. Yeah. But you'd so. think that, like, somebody would... I guess they got to update the catalog, but... Yeah. Yeah. It'll it'll happen. Um, so so that was really cool. And then what did you see after that? After that, I saw false killer whales. Wait, that was the ap- the actual next thing. False killer whales after Not like the in transients? the same day. But like, the yeah. Same. No. Yeah. In okay. sequence, yeah. That was okay. That was next. <laughs> That's so awesome. Um, so it was kind of crazy. We. You can't see any more things in a row that have the name killer whale in them. Pretty no. Uh, Pay me killer whales. Like, <laughs> we're not gonna see those. What is, oh, pygmy killer pygmy whales. Killer whales? What did you yeah. say? Offshore killer whales. Yeah, offshore. Yeah, dude. Whales. Pygmy killer whales. That's a thing. No, you can't see too many in a row. That's not. That's not how it works. Okay, now. <laughs> so what? What happened? False killer whale day. So it was were they eating. Were it was. Cool? It was. No, they're just traveling. <laughs> um, it was interesting though because we do three two and a half hour trips a day, and on the morning trip we were like two hours in. We saw absolutely nothing. And then we saw this one humpback that was, like, doing headstands. It was really weird. It just, like, would take its tail out of the water and just, like, throw it around. Kind of cool. 
And then it started logging, so we hung out with that thing. And then in the distance, uh, our captain, Captain Dave, he's the man. Uh, he saw, like, you know, we thought they were Shout offshore. Shout out Captain Dave. Shout out Captain Dave, <laughs> the homie. Uh, so we thought they were offshore bottling those. And then I, like, took a picture, like, probably, like, a mile away and zoomed in. And I was like, those are pretty curved dorsal fins. And so we went over them, went, went over to them, and they were false killer whales. Uh, That's how many, so awesome. How many was there? There was about 20. And so. That's cool. Cool. Which is really cool. Um, and, you know, a month prior in March, like March 5th or something, I had seen false killer whales for the first time in Long Beach. And that was a pot of 50. And nice. I was looking through the photos. There's a few that had specific, like, you know, cuts and notches in their dorsal fins. And the second time I saw them in Santa Barbara, none matched up. Hmm. So it was definitely a different pod. Cool. It was definitely a smaller pod as well. Yeah, we do know with those false killer whales that uh, same pods will visit the same areas. For example... Was it three years ago, Slater? I think yeah. you might have gone already. There was one that 2014 gave, or something. One that gave birth off of uh, right off. Oh, of, no, uh, that was after I'd moved. Dana Point, like, yeah. yeah and that ago. pod, you know, after it gave birth, everyone of course paid attention to that mom and calf and got ID photos. And totally. then was it? It was like a year later they came back. So. Oh really? Yeah. So it seems I like they cover that. the same yeah, area, like, like a route. Like a year later too. Like yeah, year. exactly. Why is everything like that it's, in this it's ocean? It's so cyclical. Dude, they it's know really stuff that we don't know. Yeah, but dude, like they can't be on the dot sometimes. Yeah, they are. Like, I said they can't be. It's like they, Google Calendar or something. <laughs> I think like it, tomorrow is one of those days out of the year in Monterey Bay where you almost always see killer whales for the last 10 years. All right. It's going to be bunk weather, just though. Yeah. Ca- Caitlin called I'm it. Going see what happens tomorrow. I'm going the April 20th. I'm uh, just oh, saying. we're actually full tomorrow, Adam. I forgot to tell you. Ooh, are we full tomorrow? Uh, Probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Adam's now seen northern right whale dolphins, southern resident killer whales in Monterey, uh, false killer whales. No, you forgot Super that. rare transients. Yeah, sup- sup- and now you got to add his non cetacean sighting. All right, now so hit him with the final. We Grand saw <laughs> a basking shark the other day mm. in Santa Barbara. That's a wait. That's a you only saw guys. one. We saw one. So Island Packers, which is the boat south of us in Ventura, apparently yeah, they reported them. They reported twenty in one day across their three boats. Yeah, I oh, believe geez, it. Lottie had like amazing. two or three. Yeah, she had a whole well, bunch yeah. of videos. Lottie said she was there's was three circling her boat, and there's like at least like eight or ten dorsal fins on the horizon. Yeah. That's amazing. Which is That's insane. Cool. Um, I think they're the coming po- back. Yeah, I think the population of them is like five hundred to seven hundred. L- Lottie's like the shark whisperer. When I first met her, we saw like a like a fifteen foot white shark in oh, Long really? Beach. So everywhere she goes, she sees like these she's, amazing things. She gets yeah. really like I want her to send the, them up to me. She saw the fifty ones <laughs> twice in two weeks. Yeah, in Ventura. like she's yeah. got really good luck too. So you know that was cool. Obviously, basking sharks are the second biggest shark on the planet. Uh-huh. They're like a a prehistoric whale shark. Yeah, yeah, the second. Yeah, second largest. That's so cool. Of all the fish yeah, so like, how, 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 how long do you think the one you saw was? Like twenty five feet, and I think oh, they get, really? I think they get to like, like thirty, yeah. thirty five. Those, those like those whale sharks, man, they're so big. Yeah, yeah. So Wait, cool. have you swam with them? No, you I have. haven't been out with them in the wild. The Bay of the Angels, that's in yeah, so Baja. Adam's been down to the Bahia de Los Angeles, right? Yeah, so I did research there um, on microplastics one year. And then um, whale shark identification research, which I got to go back and return to and continue to do that at some point. Don't forget to uh, take your friends with you when you return there. Yeah. No, honestly, you guys should Are come. you going with Silver Shark? Is that who you went with? No. So he that's how I met him. He, My community college has a field station down there. They're the only what? community college in a calif- in the States, actually, that has a, oh, yeah, brag a, a field more. station <laughs> out of the uh, – well, dude, you can do it. It's They spend two weeks. It's like 800 bucks for two weeks down there. Travel, food, housing is everything paid for, and anybody can do it. You don't have to be a student. You don't have to be anything. Uh, um, so you have to go to college. Let's go back to no, college. No, dude, like you don't have to no. go to college. You can use some um, extra units. <laughs> like we had a, you use a unit. We had like a, we had like a seventy-year-old lady come down with us one time. Um, oh, cool! So really cool. So if you're in Southern California, uh, definitely look into that. Uh, Glendale Community College, Baja Field Studies. So yeah, same with you don't even go to Glendale. There. That's where I live in LA. That's where I'm originally from. Oh, but now you go to Santa Barbara. Yeah, so now I just transferred to UC Santa Barbara. Oh, cool. Okay. Nice. Oh, awesome. I didn't know you were from Glendale. Awesome. Yeah, man. Um, so yeah, basking shark was rad. They look like dinosaurs. Like it's yeah, it's really crazy. They're like they're like skin texture. It was kind of sad because we had crappy lighting and you couldn't really see them for pictures at least. Yeah, it's but so cool to know that it's right there. Though. Just seeing that was just really really cool. Yeah, I definitely want to check those out. None of you, none of us have seen them, right? Nope. Nope. It, yeah. I think this summer is the summer. And those are uh, those are filter feel feeders, so they yeah. don't they don't they hunt anything down. With their mouth open, and looks they're completely just like whale sharks. Mm-hmm. They're literally just like whale sharks, but 
their just head like, is like colder browner. water version. Yeah, <laughs> browner. their head is browner. browner. More elongated, brown. it seems like. Yeah. And they're in colder waters usually. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they can be seen all the way up in like Europe. I think, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's Scotland has a. Yeah. Big, Scotland has a, a big, snorkel program. Yeah. yeah, snorkel program there. Yeah. Speaking of snorkel programs. In um, Churchill, Manitoba, I think is how you say it. Oh, yeah, to see the belugas. Mm-hmm. The belugas. You yeah. can snorkel with those no things. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Canary I met this guy on Instagram that that uh, runs trips and that does that. he does polar bears. And then in the off season, I don't know if it's the same season, but then he does um, the beluga trips as well. That's cool. I want to yeah, see all the white there. animals up there. Polar bears, beluga. If you guys had to choose one cetacean, what would it be? To For see what? forever to see. or to be? To be. <laughs> <laughs> People always get that question. To what, see. what kind of animal would you be? To see. Mm-hmm. Everyone, I feel like everyone's like, I want to be an orca. No, I'd be a no. humpback whale. I want to be a bowhead whale. Well, actually, I want to be a fin whale because they go everywhere. You can headbutt ice. I mean, that's kind of cool, but. And you live. I want to travel. The oldest ones? I, I want to travel more of the ocean. You don't know that bowhead whales aren't the best <laughs> I'd be, travelers? I'd be a you don't whale. know that fin whales don't live as long as a bowhead whale? True. <laughs> Do people know that yet? No, we don't know. They don't count the rings in their ear whale. <laughs> How often do you get to count the rings in the ear bone of a fin whale? Weren't they doing it? I don't know. Never mind. The earwax. I thought they were like when they, you know how they were um, in in the, what is the book that we read? Spying on Wales. Yeah, spying on Wales. Yeah, yeah. The, dude, it, Delaney needs to give me my book. The back. earwax or whatever. <laughs> okay, didn't. Yeah, yeah, but how often are fin whales accessible dead near and shore is how, what I'm how, saying. Yeah, and, and how do you know how, if it's at its oldest stage? Right. Did it die of old age or did it die of something else? Whatever, science. Science. So wait. I would be a fin whale if I could be a whale. Too bad we can't yeah, do it with could... the snot bot thing. That would be cool. They can't check age no. with that stuff? No, they don't have the DNA processing down good enough. They're trying, though. They're actually trying to do that through DNA to figure out how old they are. That'd be crazy. But when they ground truth it with the humpback whales in the East Coast, that <laughs> they actually sneezes, know. like, this is an 80-year-old whale. <laughs> <laughs> it's still not right. So, Dude, think about that CA-199, the, the killer whale that oh I got, God, where he shot he the big f- booger out. You've got to be able to so tell cool. something from that booger. If you would have gone and picked it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Booger analyzation. That's pretty cool. Oh, you can see no. the thing literally in so much. It's like, shoom, yeah. shoom, 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 <laughs> shoom. Splash. <laughs> uh, that whale of cool Kleenex. So Wait, we, so one more cetacean in the like yeah, our life that we could see? Yeah. Only one more? Wait, only one more we could uh, see? Or no, like, what's the if, like, like, we like what's that like the top of your bucket list? Narwhal. narwhal. Okay, right whale. But I, I'm going to try and do that. Yeah, no, right whale for me too. Any right whale. I'll be happy. I feel like we could just go to Africa and see some. Let's go. I'm trying to, yeah, go, to trying to go to Massachusetts and You got ten grand to go to Africa? Not ten grand. Easy ten grand. Whatever, I don't know. Dude. We need friends unless in high like, places. <laughs> unless you're living on the living off the land. Yeah, that's true. 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 Yeah, there's lions in South that's Africa. Honestly, this on is the like beach? The most... Yeah, there's beach lions. You never heard of those? There are beach lions, actually, yeah. What? No, I'm serious. There's yeah. lions that go on the beach. Okay, let me tell you guys something. This is one of the hardest questions I think I've ever been asked. <laughs> I don't know what I want to pick to see. Like, there's so many on that. Have you seen the freaking poster just came in that Dude. house? <laughs> it's over there. I'm surprised nobody said Vikita because they're going to be gone. In Ooh, oh, speaking of Vikita. Awkward. I'm not trying to be, like, sad the rest of my life. But, yeah, um, but you be, like, one of the people that have it, seen inside, it. Inside word is from someone... That uh, at Noah was saying that it, it might be five to six now. Single oh digits. Yeah, it's in single digits now. Dude, isn't that crazy? How like last yeah. year they estimated thirty. Yeah. Okay. Happy da, thoughts. Da, I think da. they were at like twelve already. <laughs> yeah, that was. Kind yeah, of that was like a couple years ago. Yeah. Anyways, I want to see a narwhal and a right whale. I'm trying to see a right whale in like a week. I want to see a bowhead whale and a. I think. Huh? Oh no! I want to see those freaking dolphins. It's... Yeah, that are doing the mullet feeding from our. Oh, those are bottlenose, yeah. yeah. Bottlenose in Florida. But those specific bottlenose. I just want to see, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I already know the bottlenose, but I'm, I want to see that, like, population. I want to see Commerson's dolphin. I think I or wanna... our right glass dolphin. I think I want to see Irrawaddy right dolphins because they're just so weird. You yeah. Irrawaddy Irrawaddy dolphins. Those are cool. They're just so bizarre. Hi, I want to see everything on that poster Planet. you have. Uh, yeah, they're like Pokemon. I got Right, well, it would be cool. For me, some of those. Ones in the Amazon, the pink dolphins would be kind of cool too. Hourglass dolphin, those yeah. things are rad. Those look good too. Yeah, I want to see the Hector's dolphin. The white, what's the what's the dolphin on the East Coast? The, the white, oh, uh, no. Atlantic white sided or the white beaked? Yeah, and then uh, the Dusky ones dolphins. in Iceland, the white beaked dolphins yeah. that I missed. Dude, for the longest time, pseudo orca were like at the top of my list. So I'm 
glad I got. Hey, now you got it. Off. <laughs> it sounds like we all want to see everything anyway. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. But really though, someone take me to see a narwhal. Yeah. I feel like narwhal. that's accessible. It's like Pokemon. Canada, bro. Like catch them all. Canada. See them all. There's someone. I've, there's like a company I follow on Instagram. I don't know the name right now, but that they're like there's like this long open area of ice where the narwhals swim through because they need a path mm-hmm. to get back out to they the ocean. They wait for it. Well, I mean they're in the ocean, but you know what I mean. Yeah, they wait so, for it. So, like, these people just sit in lawn chairs and watch narwhals parade by. Uh, That sounds like a great time. (laughs) Count me in. I would not mind sitting in a lawn chair watching narwhals. I'd be fine. I'd, like, sit with my feet on in the water and just, like, watch them. I'd sit there, bring some snacks, some gummy bears. Yeah, be eating snacks, watching narwhals. Some gummy bears, some Some gummy bears that I'll share. Some yerba mates. (laughs) No, you won't. Weren't you just eating gummy bears? No, I was. Caitlin was, but she wasn't sharing. (laughs) They're mine. Anyways. (laughs) Anyways. <laughs> okay, so Adam, you transferred to UC Santa Barbara. What yes. are you studying? I'm studying environmental science, not marine biology. Everybody thinks marine biology, which I was going to do, but I figure environmental you wanna science. You want to be employed? Is it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You might end up working as a well watch company okay, or something. It's okay. You can say it in front of it's, us. It's a little bit more yeah. broad. Um, you don't want to end up working at some well watch company. But at the same time. Forever. Yeah, yeah forever. Like, my plan is to, you know, once I graduate is to work for Condor for a few years, get my captain's license, and I don't know. See what you happens. hear that? Captain Dave, he's coming for you. Captain Dave. He's getting those hours. <laughs> those he's going to ask Captain you to Dave. sign him off, too. Yeah. He's going to Dave. sign him off and Dave's then take gonna, your job. Dave's going to love this. Um, so, yeah, environmental science. I love – that's pretty much the reason why I chose Santa Barbara is just because it's so close to the beach and the ocean and get that surfer vibe. I got to grow up my hair. Yeah. <laughs> do whatever you need to do, man. <laughs> That helps you study better. <laughs> Adam's going to become a photographer, you guys. He's going to forget college he's and gonna he's going to be like, become a photographer. He's going to get like a pseudo orca eating a dolphin. And he's going to be like, oh my God, never mind. <laughs> forget this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chasing these around for life. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, by the way, did you guys know that false killer whales eat dolphins? Yes. Apparently, I don't know where. Like, I don't know this. if it's just a different population. Like the Hawaiian ones do. Yeah, they were chasing down those spinners. That like, because they eat fish, too. Yeah. Do, you guys, mm-hmm. do you guys think that, like, like you know, killer whales have, like, residents, Ecotex. transients, ETPs? Like, do you think false killer whales have the same thing? Or mm, Maybe. I mean. Or, I think they're more, like, generalists. Because I also read somewhere that they had a they had a, a dead one wash up on a beach somewhere, and they had a piece of humpback in its stomach or something. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I have to find that paper. Mm. Um well, really actually, I mean, in, they could, they could in, on a dead one, I guess. in Mexico, yeah. they see uh, pseudo orca go after humpback calves. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Do that with the Sometimes rag. those rake marks on their flukes yeah. are not orca. They're but so far, like whale watch boats have, yeah, like back down south, we see them meet yellowtail, white sea bass. And then, yeah, that documentary that Slater was watching, uh, you know, shows them chasing down spinners. The first two so. minutes of that documentary is just pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah, actually, um, what's his name? He just passed away a couple years ago that does the humpback whales in Cabo. Oscar mm-hmm. and his partner, they've seen pseudo orca go after humpbacks, and sometimes the fresh scars of the Dude, of the humpback calves are so, too close together to be actual orca. Pseudo orca, interesting. Yeah. yeah, pretty top predator. Now, obviously, they can't. They're not taking down killer whales. Have you guys whales, seen that? Have you guys seen that photo of the killer whale hitting a f- mom and baby uh, pseudo orca at the same time? No, what? you haven't seen that. No, I just gotta look it, up. it sounds it's like crazy. it's crazy. No, I'm <laughs> Better not be shopped at them. Adam, show me something that's not real. You're off the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we're I'm deleting, we're deleting podcast. this right now. Yeah, we will delete this. <laughs> yeah, that was a crazy shot. Somebody got it. I don't know where. Let me find it. I mean, killer whales are pretty crazy. They really, Speaking they of really are. killer whale photos, you showed Adam a killer whale photo today, Caitlin. Oh. I was bragging because I thought I was cool. Yeah, Adam got, thought he was cool, and I these, just hit him with some crazy sightings. I got all these crazy sightings. No, Adam like, had a good week. Probably, he did have a good probably week. Probably a better week than I've had, for sure. He did have a good week. That's what happens to people, dude. They come out like two times, and then they end up seeing residents. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, what? Or when you first move here, it's like the greatest few weeks ever. Yeah, and then like a month later, they're like, it's going to rain all year. It's like, I haven't worked you in guys months because it's raining. It's your first problem. No, my first when I moved here. Do you remember in November we had like orcas and yeah, all sorts of stuff. Me all too. The time. Yeah, like and then it was winter breaching. and you were sad. Remember, you moved here at the wrong time. Is November right before winter. <laughs> <laughs> I had killer whales four days of, <laughs> four days in a row when I moved here. Oh wow! Yeah, bro. Gnarly, yo. Where's that at? I don't know. 
Killer whale attacks dolphin found in tourist. It's almost as big as the mom's almost as big as a killer whale. Dude, what? This can't be real. <laughs> I'm like pretty sure that's real. I mean, that, that. That's actually taken from a video. So, I'm but all things, sure if, yeah. If you're gonna Photoshop yeah, something, it's like I oh, get a Photoshop. You want to see yeah, another cool killer whale yeah. photo, Adam? What? That's also. I took a video of that encounter. That's not my photo, but I was there. That's, what? The elephant seal getting tossed in there. I need to scroll down a Dude, little I'm bit. Dude, I'm telling you, they had some crazy stuff before we all moved here. <laughs> Maybe you should move back in to time? Newport <laughs> and then move back to Monterey. I know, I know. Get I a teleportation. Get a tran- <laughs> time traveling <laughs> device. Re- it's like resetting, you know? What do you mean? Yeah, sometimes you just got to hit the like hit the reset button. 70 reset button, to 80 yeah. degree weather for a little bit. <laughs> 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 and whales every other week. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, it's God. Like a, it's like a Photoshop like okra on a... No, so Newport, dude, you guys, like Southern California and Santa Barbara have been really doing well. I know. They actually have been really good whale watching all up and down the California You guys think that's coast. like an actual, like, something actually is happening? Like, well, I think like the humpbacks. climate change is, like, yes. seriously Humpbacks are definitely so the basking more of them now. Yeah, but the basking sharks is the best the basking, example. Yeah, so they used the, to be sighted in Monterey really often, yeah. and now we never see them. That's crazy. And, and the albacore, too, is a good example. I albacore like fishing thing, is not the same in California anymore. Oh, no. Yeah. What was the? Um, it's bad. And John Calamkitis was talking about when you talk about the blue whales and how, not that they're like, you know, Decli- they're not declining, but yeah. they're moving more. But they're spreading out yeah. more up and down the they're coast. So like there used more. to be like tons in Newport and tons yeah. in Monterey, but now they're like kind of all up and down the coast. Did you guys yeah. ever talk and about not just California, the, um, up and down the whole coast? Mm-hmm. The pilot whales we used to have off of Catalina. Oh yeah, we yeah. actually did talk we about did. that. And now um, they're kind of like Rizzo's. They think are kind of taking over the niche. Yeah. Right? Well, that was a working theory, but also they think that, like, because they said that about Monterey, too. They were like, well, we used to see pilot whales in the 70s and 80s, and now it's all Rizzo's dolphins, and that's, like, just anecdotal. But yeah. it also sounds like maybe the pilot whale population either completely shifted range or declined majorly. And there was a couple factors. There was a couple factors, yeah, did it, yeah. At the workshop we were at. Yeah, the live captures Caitlin, yeah. for the... Um, that was the what does south? Yeah. Yeah, for the aquarium industry, yeah. and then also comp- competition with fisheries and yeah. um, bycatch. They were the the whole gill netting situation down yeah. in Southern California was pretty bad. Out. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then also competition with the Persane squid fishery. Yeah, but they do show up. Like I've seen them a couple times in Newport. That's another. That's another one I gotta check off the bucket list. Short point. fin pilot whales. I do have short fin yeah. pilot whales on my checklist. You go back that's, behind the Channel Islands. Yeah, them. guys, you know, usually chasing down bluefin and stuff, or we'll we'll see them back there. Uh, I know John was still hearing them on the hydrophone every now and then too back there. Yeah, when I was on the Cal Coffee cruise, we saw yeah, them at Point exactly. Conception. Yeah. Dude, we had another, I don't think Elisa identified these guys either. We had another pot of killer whales in Santa Barbara like two days ago. Yeah. And it was Slater like brought these that up. two big males yep. and then yeah. like five females. It was a pot of seven. It wasn't the, it wasn't. Emma's group and Emma wasn't, it wasn't in there. Emma oh, because, here. He's, show show me the picture. Yeah, show here. Caitlin the picture of all the females. I don't Those see Emma the in there, but... Emma's not in there. You don't think it was just the 122s again? No, it's definitely not. All those I'm fins look, have I, no markings. Yeah, but... The <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. It's definitely not, it's They're definitely so not, clean. Little, little it's definitely not the, the 122s. Like, the saddle that's all messed saddle up. Is all it's got like a what about, skin... Uh, Caitlin, remember uh, 216s was all girls for a while. Yeah, but 216s is jagged. She's pretty unmistakable. Okay. Although... If she was not with them, the rest of her pod doesn't have too many markings. Was yeah. It, was it the 51As that are kicking the it's birds def- around? That's three. That's just three females, though, right? I don't remember. Yeah. There was a pod that, you know the picture in the um, office? Mm-hmm. The one that has the rake marks on the dorsal? Mm-hmm. I don't know what that pod was. Yeah, were you there that day? It was uh, an overcast what? day. I mean, I've seen and the 216s like kick birds. MERS around. You have a date. Too. I can check my log. Yeah. Uh, science. I don't science. Know I don't remember. Have you talked about your uh, April Fool's thing? Yeah, we talked about yeah, it. Yeah, we talked about we're it. We're like borderline. Time. Are we in another? St- Wait, are we still in April? Are yeah, they... for another another week, week or another so. Week. That was yeah. That was like nineteen days ago. Uh, <laughs> nineteen April Fool's. Ago. That's so yeah, but you... that's so <laughs> first of the month. Yeah, but you <laughs> and nobody April cared about April me, Fool's this year. And you totally got me. Yeah, <laughs> because we're good at it. Yeah, we're really good and at then, it. <laughs> yeah, you guys really are. We all plotted against you yeah. and then, together and then let Slater deliver it. What was it for? Yeah, did it too. I don't know. You kept sending him stuff like we were seeing stuff. All oh, you were oh seeing yeah, he's the, like, wait, you have the transients again today. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah dude. I was, was, like, the I was right. like, I freaking yeah. just missed a double I missed a yeah, double Yeah, you said you missed a double breach. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, Slater, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm like, Adam, the black and whites are back here. Common murs are everywhere. I was about to drive back up again. 
<laughs> so what are they, when do the common yes. birds lose their feathers or whatever and another like two months they're all gonna be running around everywhere again yeah so when the chicks go off the nest with the dad the dad starts like feeding for them and then i think actually it might be later than that then later in the summer they go flightless they lose all their primary feathers at the same time and all summer we're gonna hear <laughs> that's my best impression do you guys have common birds a lot down there not really. We're, us is it because we're close to the Fairlawns. We get a lot of pelicans, though. Uh, you guys don't have a lot of pelicans up here, huh? They just started Not showing back up yeah. again, yeah. They just started getting here. Okay. Literally saw, like, my first one round. yesterday. Yeah, Yeah, don't tell The so reason long. why you're seeing them year-round is because they actually nest right off the Channel oh, Islands. They? Yeah. Yeah. And then we also have some. Yeah, we also have some that will nest in Baja. Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah, mm-hmm. I, I saw, yeah, I see a ton down there in Baja. But your true California brown pelican yeah. is usually classified as the ones that nest off of... Off the Channel Islands. California Sweet. sea lions nest in Baja as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they nest. nest. They nest. <laughs> they, <laughs> have, they lay eggs. They have down there yeah. in Baja. Yeah. Because I was like, do these go to the Channel Islands? She was like, no, these just yeah. are here year round. They have their own go, thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They nest, sea lions. They could nest. <laughs> that'd, be a, that'd be a big know. nest. We, could probably, rock we could probably lay in their nest. Yeah, those, are, those are like big nests. Yeah. The rocks are. Look at sea lion egg. How cute. Could you imagine? No. That'd be one big egg. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. I don't want to see an egg that size. That's scary. It's like dinosaurs. Also, how does it get out of it? It doesn't have like a beak. Like a, it doesn't it have like a tooth. Was it eggs. tooth? What's it called? Egg, egg tooth. tooth. Oh, the egg tooth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I used to. I used to breed reptiles too. You did? Yeah. yeah. Now you and like, Eric are gonna have a conversation. Like six, yeah. Six, here we go. Welcome to the reptile nerds podcast. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what? Then I'm talking about plants. One. What? What? Okay. No one likes plants. Reptiles. She's gonna talk about succulents, probably. Yeah. I'm gonna Succulent about, nerds. Did you guys see how big that radish I grew was? Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> did you eat it? No. Nah, I just let them all you sit in scared? Fridge. No, I like grew a bunch of like different types of radishes and um <laughs> We're really talking about radishes. Then... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Sorry, I brought up the reptiles. And yeah, you got a soft jack, it's your fault. That's my fault. So what kind of reptiles did you breed? Uh iguanas. I have a big iguana. His name's Big Red. I've had him for like six years. Wait, is he red? Is he a green? He is indeed red. He's a green that's red? He's a green that's red. I awesome. used to have an albinos, all this stuff. Nice. That's crazy. Yeah, they're cool. Look at this dude. Must not continue talking about reptiles. Oh, that's, nice. That's pretty cool. That's He's, yours? Yeah, dude. Where's it boy. at? It's in my house in Glendale. It's on my shoulder. My dad's. Yeah, it's on my shoulder. What do you feed it, lettuce? No. <laughs> lettuce is very bad in nutritional value. Do they eat bugs? No, they, they're vegetarians. Yeah, they are vegetarians, right? Yeah, but they don't eat lettuce. They eat like... Kale, collard greens. They're like hibiscus. Wow. Classy. Hibiscus. These Your are some classy iguanas, iguanas eats dude. better than me. All right, back to the whales. Okay. Right, <laughs> how was your whale watching today? Someone hand me my laptop. Trip driver. reports, trip reports. Oh, you guys were on the same boat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, were you out today too, though, right? Yeah, I was out of Moss. Um, yeah, so in Monterey, Monterey was... it was very foggy. and But it was calm, so that was nice. It was nice this morning. We got like, pretty we... good looks at oh, our was... corpus. I mean, that humpback was, was right next to the boat. He was a yeah. really friendly. We had a really bellow dude. humpback. Like, we were just sitting there, and like it seemed like he was going to oh. leave, and then he was just right back in front of the mm-hmm. boat again. Kaylin, mm-hmm. did you see the uh, double breach? Or was it just Dan? I just caught it out of the corner of my yeah, eye. I just saw the splash. I didn't yeah. see yeah, both. I, I didn't even see the whales. We had breaches like that all day today. Where it was like, it was oh, it sporadic. breached over there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Andrew, it breached the over there. Oh, saw it breached every over there. single breach. Yeah, he did. Right? <laughs> Everyone. That's funny. How many wells do you guys, how many packs do you guys I think you had total? In the morning, morning like only, three. yeah, mm-hmm. only two or three. Mm-hmm. Actually, four because we saw two singles and a pair on our way in. And then in the afternoon, we had at least a dozen, but probably closer to 15 or 18. Uh-huh. And then at the end, it all came together for a little yeah. quick lunch feeding sesh. We oh, kept cool. seeing like bird work <laughs> and lunch feeding. And then by the time we'd catch up to it, it would fizzle out. And then finally we got one before it was done. And so they got the passengers got to see the lunch. Feeding Funny, a same bit. thing, same exact time the day before all the whales came together. But there was a lot more bait on the surface the day yeah, before. Yeah, today like a was lot. pretty patchy. Yeah. Anything else? Dolphins or anything? Harbor report. I saw another first. What? Oh. oh, albatross. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, black black listed albatross in the morning. Dude, there was five of them just like yeah, hanging they, out. They chilling with the boat. Prop wash. It just yeah, there. I heard it on the radio that this morning, I think it was Liz Liz who actually saw like a whole bunch of them out there, too. So. Yeah, we were we watching this chill humpback, and then all of a sudden these albatross were all hanging out with Did us. you guys hear there's been uh, laysons in the area? Yeah, I heard that who a couple days them? ago. Somebody saw one. Uh, did Casey? Kate saw it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Kate nice. saw it. So Laysons have been in the you area. You know what? We had a really rare sighting today. 
Oh yeah. We oh yeah. What? We picked up a blanket out of the ocean. Oh yeah. Oh, this cool. lady, this so lady weird. on the boat goes. Actually, that's a Costco blanket. Uh, it's on <laughs> sale or something like that. <laughs> no, she said you can return it. Oh yeah, she's <laughs> so that's funny. She's like, I have a free note, like damage return or something. I was uh-huh. like, oh, we're definitely returning. Like, it. I'm returning this because it's wet <laughs> and it has a hole in it from the gaff. <laughs> yeah, I, I gaffed it and it weighed like uh-huh. a billion pounds because it's soaking wet. Oh yeah. And we picked up a balloon today. Good job. Good. Yeah. Did we pick up more than one balloon? Just one. Just one. The blanket was the yeah, first one for me. Yeah. That was an unusual. So the central p- central part of Bay, we actually started our trip just straight out to the uh, the. Uh, mile marker buoy and we had a stellar hanging out in front of moss landing mm. oh, so nice, we visited nice. the stellar and then we had two huge humpbacks just kind of circling the front of moss big girls yeah big big girls and then uh we went all the way up to the soquel canyon and there's probably a kid you know there are probably about 15 to 20 humpbacks feeding amongst birds over there we saw the lunging from a distance as we got closer of course you know typical yeah. fashion yep. dissipated but tail throws they're pretty good and then on the way back we had uh um some about probably about 40 rizzos and some white sided so nice you got some, we had to work through the fog again you got some mm-hmm. stellar shots yesterday or the day before yeah i literally got oh, some, some nice i literally breaches. have a stellar shot i just put up right now too no, i know <laughs> but you had some breaches line. yesterday right yeah some that, really nice it was ones, two humpback with the scars it's cars did you see it the f- oh, with throwing. the tail flute. Yeah, yeah. It, those are dope. It almost looks like, like Hyrule- Harry Potter of Wales. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like three <laughs> lightning bolts. Yeah, <laughs> but the- we thought we saw it today for yeah. a second. Yeah, but- it was a pair. they right next to each other, and then the one one decided to do uh, chin slaps over and over again, and the other one breached so close that I was on yeah, hundred. Epic shot. I could barely get it. Just barely got into the frame. It was pretty cool. It just shows you how yeah. like we were all in the water in different boats. Well, and we were all on one boat, and then Eric stuff. was on another, and like yeah. You know, some people saw dolphins, some didn't. We saw when they're scattered out and you have poor visibility, you literally can miss them by like five hundred. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, but it's just crazy. We were like, doing that typical travel, yeah, travel through the fog thing, and then all of a sudden you smell them, and you're like, "Go that way." <laughs> so we had <laughs> a few of those moments. Whale breath today. Yeah, yeah that's pretty bad. Yeah, on the morning trip, especially smelling for whales in the Monterey Bay. <laughs> people don't believe us, but yeah, we really do. We have to do that some days. Man, I remember last summer I would just stand up on the cap rail on the front. JJ would let me stand up there, and I, sometimes I'd be like, "Stop, stop! I smell a whale." Yeah. <laughs> hey, so th- have you? Did you guys have sea lions with your animals today? Because it seems like we're mm, some days a few, we do, but like only less than like six. six. Yeah, okay. Exactly. I'm waiting for our typical summer. You know, where I we got a couple hundred of them. It makes it so easy for photographing yeah. them. Yeah. I think it'll get going. Do you here know why, Adam? Soon. No why. So when our humpbacks here feed. <laughs> With like hundreds and hundreds of sea lions, yeah. the sea lions all go down. But I guess it's just because they don't hold their breath as right. long, so they'll all go down. But wherever the sea lions come up at, is where the humpbacks are going to come up next because they're staying okay. as close to the bait ball as they yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. If if it's and so what will happen is they'll all scatter, and, and then, then and then you know the, the humpbacks are going to lunge. We get that with, uh, or just come up next to them in general. They mm-hmm. just like sheer water and stuff. Like when they're so full, sometimes they just like sit on top of the bait ball or something. Yeah, but in yeah. Monterey, it's like. There's so many patches of birds like that that you yeah, can't exactly. even use that yeah, as a like reference. It's crazy. The <laughs> the bird, last, yeah. Last time I was here, I just could not believe the amount of birds. Like, yeah. It was yeah. Insane. Okay. I'm just In not used summer, to it. And that, and that wasn't even like – and last year wasn't even a big bird year. Like I've seen – I'm not even kidding. Five hundred thousand shearwaters mm-hmm. in one flock. Yeah, half a million shearwaters. You had that with me. I think last year or later, me and yeah. we were Chris. We were out there. We were in the way flock. out, and there was like some. Yeah, yeah, I remember it's that. It's so day. crazy how just like along the coast of California, every spot is just different. Yeah, like in Santa Barbara, if we spot birds diving, we're like, oh, there's bait balls there. There has to be a hunt back there. And like here, you see them everywhere, and you're like, you're just like, oh, passing another bait ball exactly. with no whale. <laughs> oh, passing another exactly. bait ball with no whale. <laughs> oh, there's one sea lion working this one. <laughs> hey, Adam. So where you are when you are seeing these birds feeding? Is it anchovies or is it sardines? Have it's guys... anchovies. It's anchovies. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, pretty much every time it's anchovies. Okay. Did you guys have krill or something when there's basking sharks, or just like poor visibility? You know, or don't I think basking sharks feed on phytoplankton? Don't yeah. Um, so but yeah, in the summer like... we get like huge blooms of um of krill. That's why we get tons of blue whales and fin whales mm-hmm. uh, feeding in the 
in the summer off the Channel Islands. Um, we got a lot of Valella Valellas the other day. Oh, cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I heard so that we think we're going to have a good. You ever seen with me the other day here? Yeah. And then like, the, then, like, a couple of days later, when you got home, there was, like, thousands There's where you thousands. lived. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, All on the beach, huh? Yeah, because we had them well, here, they're, too. They're on the ocean, and we just found this huge patch of them, and they eat um, phytoplankton as well, yeah. I think. Um, yeah, they just have those tiny little tentacles. Exactly. Those little sailboats. Yeah, so they're, they're cool. And so I was told that. You know, when you when you have big numbers of those, it's going to be a, a good blue season. Or... What year was so, it that we saw? 2015, I worked at Cal Coffee, and there was mats of them all over the ocean. Like, you for miles and miles. So I, I'm down for some lunch feeding so humpbacks cool. again this summer. Oh, yeah, it, it'll happen. Cool that. Do you think I'll ever get another shot of that? Mm, no. You mean the blue whales? <laughs> <laughs> you mean blue whales lunging? Or? No, yeah. like, you know what I'm talking about, that shot. Yeah. Was like ten to fifteen whales in one group, and like oh, eight humpbacks? heads in the same frame. No, not that. Like you know, like the, the <laughs> day that with the hump, the the blue whale, the one I just posted. Like oh yeah, ago. the lunch feeding blue whale. Yeah, do you think that? Well, it's just going to. Burn. We'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah. train. No, it's never gonna happen again. Dang it. <laughs> never, never again. I really want it to happen again. Well, it only can happen again if it's you and me on the boat. What about a fin whale? You were seeing yeah, a fin JJ, whale do that? JJ was there. Yeah, yeah, we have fin whales out here, and we've seen them. Uh, I've seen, seen them, them side I've lunch. Seen them surface fiend. Like yeah. Yeah, sometimes uh, we have like fin whales, cool blue whales, and humpbacks all like together. All together, Dude. yeah. <sighs> yeah. Remember how I was like, <laughs> Adam, you don't want to play this game with us. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think I think I'm hot stuff because I had like one amazing week. No, you did have. You a, did have you a really good week. Yeah, week. Really We've seen every amazing. whale eat out here. Yeah, that's a good thing yeah. about this area. So much food for everybody. Yeah. Well, <laughs> at the same time, <laughs> we've had that too. Yeah. I'm gonna. It's kind He's of quit sucks. the podcast. No, it kind of sucks because <laughs> yeah, this is Drops like my first mic, year in Santa Barbara, and I really you, wanted to be here for the blue whale. You can transfer the UC Santa Cruz, I Adam. Could. Well, I wanted to be here for the blue whale summer, but I actually have another job in the San Juans this summer. Oh well, yeah, you guys. He's going up there. What? Going you got a job? Yeah, dude. I'm Tell a, us more. So, how did you get a job up there? So, one of my buddies. It's you know, it's kind of crazy the power of Instagram. Like, just this girl that followed me and. Um, works for a boat up there, uh, Outer Island Excursions. She was like, "Hey, you should. We have a job opening. You should apply for it." Um, so I did, and I got it. Cool. Sweet. Yeah. Um, Lucky is that, dude? How 2019 of you? And it's you know, yeah. it's 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 like I, the Tinder I, of uh, <laughs> finding boat companies. Jobs. Instagram, bro. <laughs> Whale well, watch jobs. I, nope, nope. Yep. Swipe you know, right. Like, I, I DM'd you on Instagram. <laughs> I can do it because I'm 20 and like I can spend a summer up there, and we'll yeah, see how it goes. You but. Should. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm you gonna, you're gonna, gonna not, take the opportunity. Have, trust so. me, dude. I went there one time and I was like, yeah. I'm thinking okay, about but moving. then you'll see when it's like not nice in the winter, and you'll be like, okay, time to go well, back. Well, exactly. To Santa That's why I'm kind of glad it's yeah. Just except a for when thing. it is nice during the winter, there's still killer whales there. You're just having major FOMO. It's all why right. Do they, does anybody know why they like cut it off during the winter? Because they, nobody's going out. To no the people island. there. Like, no yeah, because you have to take there's ferry no, rides out. And dude, it becomes ghost town. The population drops way down. There's some people just stay there in the summer. The tourists come in the summer. Obviously, there's not even that many people on the island. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. live there. Yeah, San Juan doesn't have as many people as you think. Honestly, that sounds You have your summer awesome. population of people, then your winter nice. population. Kind of awesome. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, you, just driving on the ferry alone from Anacortes to the San Juan Islands is like mind blowing. Was You're that like, the first time you've ever been on a ferry? Yeah. <laughs> what does that have to do with That's being adorable. in a beautiful area? <laughs> so I mean, that too, but I grew up there, so I'm like, yeah, duh. Yeah. With the ferries <laughs> in Oregon? No, but like going up to the San Juan Islands North camping West, yeah. as a kid and stuff, and like oh, yeah. going on the ferry with the car. And... Dude, it just reminds me of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, because it's in Seattle. Yeah, Grey's well, Anatomy like, takes place. One in of the Seattle. doctors always goes on the the ferry, like to clear his mind. <laughs> 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 takes a little ferry ride. Have I ever told you about my um, San Juan like 2016 uh, Southern Resident sighting? No. So it was me and my buddies after I graduated high school. We uh, took a trip to Washington. We were staying in Portland, and we had a you know, we went kayaking with killer whales. Like that's a thing you do there. Yeah. Kind of cool. Yeah, my parents um, do that a lot. And you got to actually me. see them in. in yeah. The ca- so oh, well, sweet. The, the story of it is kind of crazy. So uh-huh. we left Portland at like two in the morning to for uh-huh. a nine o'clock trip in uh in the San Juans, and on the uh on the way there, we hit. You know, I didn't realize that Seattle traffic is literally like worse than LA traffic. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It's because the roads are not set up. For yeah, that and they're just traffic. awful. So like we were gonna be late, and I was it's like, been no, like that my I don't whole think life. any roads are set up for traffic. No, yeah, Seattle's true. pretty bad. Though. Seattle's really bad. But I was like, no, I wanted to see killer whales in the wild my entire life. So I was like flooring it literally like a hundred miles per hour. 
and I got pulled over. So you I got, did? I, I got that ticket, so I got the ticket there. That was like, that <laughs> That's was like awesome. A, that was like a hundred bucks. Uh-huh. And then as we were pulling up to the ferry, it was pulling away. And like my no. heart just dropped. You get, like, let's just say you floored it and you jumped the ramp. <laughs> yeah. and no, it that, oh, idea. that would be he really cool. However, yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Oh. And so I was like, you know, this sucks. I got all sad. Um, but then like, you know, problem solved, you know? I was crying and then another ferry I showed honestly up. was crying. Um, so no, there's no other ferries. So what I did was I called the local airport. And I was like, hey, can I rent out a plane? Can you take me to the islands? And they're like, yeah, we can do oh, that. So this kid's balling. <laughs> so I dropped like another like. Well, me and my buddies dropped 300 bucks, 100 bucks yeah, each on the plane Yeah, they have a lot of seaplanes. That they actually doesn't sound bad. That doesn't sound that expensive. I know. It wasn't not... bad. It was cool. It was cool, too. We, and then we flew over Yeah, you get a view and everything. Yeah. yeah. Great view. We saw um, the ferry, and we were like, for you, ferry. Flick it off. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, <laughs> we flew past the ferry, drove back by, flipped it off, and then kept going. <laughs> Literally. Um, <laughs> and then, <laughs> you know... All of this, and I, and I was like, you know, like, what are the chances on a kayak you see killer whales? Um, and we did. We saw, we saw J-Pod. I saw Granny before, uh, you know, in 2016. Uh-huh. And just, like, a crazy experience. I dropped, like, $300 more than I had to, but... You and you got a ticket. Make it work. Made it work out. Yeah. yeah. You guys, I got to tell you something. It's a bummer. So, when, when we, Adam and I were driving over here, he, he went to pull into someone's oh, driveway gosh. to reverse, and his bumper just went... <laughs> Dude, Caitlin, now he's got in my little... driveway? No, no. Over no there what's up with these driveys? They're steep, man. Yeah, no, and like the next street over, dude. They're like, they're like. What? Do you just... have a tiny car? No, I no, don't... dude. They just go straight up. They're like walls. I don't know. Dude. It was the like, 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 like a little piece of plastic. As Monty would say, it's Monterey. What kind of car do you have? It's Monterey. Uh, Camry, 2014 Camry. It's not even that low. That's it's funny. not, but like, I just, <laughs> we were driving. You guys go to, uh, and I was like, oh gosh. If you guys go out on the Condor Express, make sure you buy uh, Adam's photo package <laughs> so he can get his bumper fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's such a bummer. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That's awesome. Good times. Good times. Hey, so when you when you were kayaking with those um with those uh, orca, yeah. did, did you have a big male swim by yet? That's like one of my dreams. Just yeah, kind of see, look up to it. You know, they thing. they weren't that close. They're uh-huh. Probably like three hundred, four hundred yards away. But okay, still, so four hundred yards away. Yeah, Washington safe. Yeah. Yes, Washington safe. And you know, Where, like, you on, the, on the kayaks, what's that? Were you like lime kiln? Were you on San Juan Island? Are we San Juan yes. Island? Yes, yes. So you were on like the backside, or, like, yes, the, where the lighthouse is. Yes. Okay, yeah. So it's not um, good. Cool. It was just crazy because you know, like when you see them, you have to get all the kayaks together or mm-hmm. hold on to each other, and you can't paddle towards them or anything. Oh, yeah. okay. But they came pretty close, and we had uh-huh. a, we had a baby breaching. You know, I wasn't really that into it back then, so I didn't know. Um, they just said, you know, there's Granny, and that's that's what I really remembered. So um, cool. Nice. And I had like this tiny little, <laughs> I have this clip from that trip of like a, I had like a point and shoot camera and you know, they were 400 yards away. So you just see this tiny little black dorsal fin. <laughs> and, uh, he's claiming, I, he's like, I have the last photo of Granny. Of Granny. <laughs> you need to put that on your Instagram. Photo. Like, Dude, I my, should. My I first you will, that. my first uh, you literally hit can't at, even, like, yeah. My first try at whale photography. My first on film yeah. when I was a kid. Me too. Southern Residence. Yeah, it's. Cool. I don't even. Know. I think we got a few dorsal fin pictures. We we're standing on land. I think at Lime Kiln. It's cool to look back at that stuff. Like you know, just as a photographer or just like as a you know whale lover. Like looking back at that stuff. We just, just bought like, one of those disposable cameras and we right? saw a bunch of killer yeah. whales and just shot I love photos. When people come on the boat and they're like. <laughs> <laughs> And there's, they're going. You know, me, it doesn't happen me, too much anymore, know, but yeah. Let me wind up my camera here. Yeah, they're winding it up. Yep. No, they're just moving. Flash it over cube to the on next. top. Yeah, they're just moving it to the next frame. Yeah. <laughs> my cool. Polaroid fell in the water. <laughs> now, no, now iPads fall in the water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cell phones. Cell phones. Cell yeah. phones. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Right. One time, iPads. a passenger was holding their laptop over the side to take a You're photo, kidding. and I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> they might have been uh, like skyping or Facetime. Dude, I don't even know what they were doing. I'm pretty sure somewhere on my hard drive, I have a photo of them doing it though, because I was like, "What?" So there's is a MacBook this? at the bottom of the Monterey Submarine. It didn't Canyon. fall in, but they That'd were like, awesome literally holding their laptop over the side. <laughs> they're gonna probably find one on like in, in bar. He's gonna find a laptop. Yeah, they're like, okay. <laughs> the Ventana's oh, lawn chair at Davidson Seamount. That's yeah. awesome. The Ventana's gonna come Wait, up with a MacBook in, one day. Was in our planet, wasn't it? Oh, maybe. I don't remember. There's like there's a picture of a chair in in one of the BBC. Films. Yeah, I wonder yeah. where it is. There is a lawn chair out at Davidson. 
I know that. For There's sure. like a cargo ship container so there, there too, too, right? In so, the proper canyon. Yeah, I remember them showing. They did a talk over at um, someone who was researching the Davidson. At, did a talk over at Pacific Grove Natural History Museum. And oh, yeah. yeah, he also talked yeah. at Science Sunday or whatever that is at Seymour. Oh, cool. They did a report on it. Crazy, crazy. That is awesome. Well, we prevented a blanket from going to the bottom of the sea today, so. That's good. Yeah, why was it floating like that? It was weird. It was uh, a yeah, weird it was material. A whole, the whole it was like a was plasticky slash blanket. It was, I didn't like, e- it was for like picnics. You know yeah, I, mean? I didn't even touch it. I just like, they just threw it in the trash can. But when are you guys going to go to Costco and return it? Yeah. I think it's in the dumpster now. Okay. Yeah. Kirkland has a great return speaking, policy. Speaking of trash, if you want to come clean the beach on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Although this podcast, podcast is going to come out on afterwards. Monday, so I guess we'll have to talk about it. <laughs> re- <laughs> Another re- episode. Uh, uh, rewind and delete. This podcast Edit. even comes out. I'm still, I'm still sus with Slater. You think I this feel, is like we're fake? I feel like he's still. <laughs> we've been, yeah. we've been punking time. Adam all Dude, day. You guys have been punking <laughs> me all, just like, joking. forever. Slater, you're gonna hit record once he walks out of the building, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll That's just make up an excuse for him to leave. I gotta go to my grandma's. <laughs> Hey, Adam, I heard that there's um, seven residents back outside again. Why? Are they double wa- breaching? You should go walk you across the, the street and look for them. Probably. At the beach. I honestly would. You actually can. You can go across the street over to Dune. and. Dude, and I had an orchid dream last Dune night. Dune. I thought I was going to be orchids today. And That's yeah. why. Adam screwed it up for us. Your dreams Caitlin, took them you away. you also came out on the boat today, and you're usually not on the boat, so that screwed it up as well. No. Hey man, my luck cannot get any better. I can't do anything more for you it guys. It could get worse, though. <laughs> yeah, <it could> <laughs> <worse>. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> Bad weather, right. bad weather tomorrow, Adam. Well, we had uh, awesome. Had an uh, Adam had an awesome <laughs> week of amazing encounters. That's right. Yes. And hopefully, we all have tons more in 2019. I want a basking shark. It's gonna be a good year, man. Basking sharks will. Yeah. I'll bring them will they? Time. Will they still be there when I get there? If I come to Santa Barbara. Yes. Hopefully, we'll okay. get basking sharks and leatherbacks. Yeah, I need a leatherback this year. You yeah, guys. You I feel leatherback. Keep dusting me with that. 2019 is the year for firsts. It is. I want to see right whale. Right whale. Next week. No, we want right whales here. Well, yeah. that too. But North Pacific. Wait, um, did I go to Hawaii in 2019? Yes. So, yeah, I went to Hawaii and saw humpbacks there, and then I went and saw whale sharks and touched a gray whale. So those are all firsts. I touched a gray whale. It's the year first, man. 2019. Yeah. At least for me. Did someone caption that already? It's like 2019, the year, the year first. first. <laughs> no, but I also said 2019 should be the year that you find a alternate to balloons. Yes. You just said an alternate to party favors. Alternate party favor instead of balloons. Oh, Roger. Yeah. Roger that. Yeah. It's so lame that there's balloons just like all the time. Dude, it's like it's like plastic. Like People just use it. People will always use it. It's I always tell but people. Can yeah, we use but, it better? Yeah. Yes. I always tell people instead of you know spending the five bucks on the five bucks on the balloon just give them the five bucks or a gift card or yeah something. exactly it's, yeah. Like, it's so who worthless needs a balloon? yeah who needs know. a balloon here's a who needs to use a plastic water bag bottle? of air <laughs> slater what? <laughs> what? nothing, nothing? <laughs> that's a metal snap or a glass snapple bottle. it's actually a glass la- snapple because a lot of them are plastic yeah, yeah dude yeah. why did snapples right. always been glass now they're plastic all of a sudden a lot of them are. I, I, and when I walked in there, if you, I don't know if you noticed, but I was yeah. tapping them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like tapping every bottle to, to double see. check. Hey, this beer's in glass. I'm just kidding. You don't even drink beer. Eric I know. Drink beer. I'm a good boy. I'll all right, you guys. Week. When I turn 21. <laughs> <laughs> you turn 21 what? In a week. Oh my gosh, he's so young. I'm such a baby. Yeah, but wow. I'm a whale baby. I could be your dad. What? Is that a thing? This doesn't even make sense. That sounds weird. That sounds weird. Okay, happy early birthday, Adam. Thanks, appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, whale baby. Hope a orca <laughs> doesn't eat you. Thanks for having me on. Emma's gonna, like a... Emma and her pod are going to eat you. Dude, no, the rare CA122s are going to eat you. <laughs> Super rare. Super rare. Super rare. Never rare seen was the rarest pod the in the next world. Time we talked about they're going to be mega rare. When I saw that CA199, no one ever told me I saw a super rare train. Mega rare. Rarest in the claim, world, you as Adam said. Oh, I have to claim it myself. Yeah. Oh, that's how it works? Yeah. Oh. All right, <laughs> you guys. Things nowadays. Thank you so much, Adam, for coming and joining Thanks, man. us. Thanks, man. It was really on fun. This podcast. It. Uh, it was awesome to hear about your crazy week you had. Glad you were. some of you guys were able to join it for some of it. Yeah, I guess we were. A lot of us were there for that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, all of us excited all for of, all of you Mexico petting gray whales. Are looking at me. <laughs> 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 Thank you all for listening to this podcast, episode seventeen. Woo! Woo woo woo. 
Yeah. Hey, and haven't, haven't we been running into more listeners again, Slater, the other day? Didn't we have, like, three yeah, we people, on people on the boat? Yeah. Yeah, guys, feel free to introduce yourselves. Don't be afraid of us. Uh, you know, talk to us. Be afraid of Eric. Yeah, <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and tell me who you are in the shop, too, because, like, yeah, yeah. they find Can't out on the boat, and I'm like, in. wait, who is that? <laughs> yeah. Especially my voice is pretty distinctive. Slater's voice is pretty, yeah, all our voices yeah, are pretty lower. distinctive, so say hi to us. You suggestions, have to find Caitlin laughing topics. somewhere. Which is not <laughs> <Yeah>. that hard. <laughs> yeah, you can hear me across the Pacific. I'm so dang loud. <laughs> and now you can find Adam, too. <laughs> yeah, come down to Santa Barbara. Hey, stop there. taking people away from Monterey. Shit. Don't, don't mention it. <laughs> Captain Dave, bro. <laughs> i gotta make all him right. proud <laughs> thank you all so much for listening if you don't uh if you found us some other way and you don't follow us follow us on instagram it's at whale nerds and yeah thanks for listening guys hope you all have a great rest of your week thanks thank for you. listening everyone Appreciate bye it.